Okay, now we have gone over the various uh, methods of specking out parts and designing our drone that we are going to build. And here we're just going to go over the summary of the parts that we selected and the performance estimates that we think our drone will be capable of. So the motors we used or we chose are 935 kV and they have 2213 in size. Uh, the battery we chose was a 3S 3000 milliamp hour. And the props are 10 inch in diameter and 4.5 inch in pitch. Now these three, again, uh, comprise the drivetrain of each arm. And this, uh, this selection of these three components helped us to estimate our current draw and our thrust that we'll see on the next slide. And so we see here, estimated current draw, I have here at 15 amps. Now, we went over various methods of estimating current draw in a previous video, and what I chose to do here was actually take the highest possible estimate of the various um, estimates that we saw. So some sources indicated we would have a 15 amp maximum current draw per arm, others said 12 amps, others said 10 amps. What I did was just go with the highest possible amp draw estimate, just to play it safe. And the ESCs we chose are 30 amps, so we did choose to overspec our ESCs in this drone course. When our drone has its throttle turned all the way up, we still have a, a significant amount of um, current that could still flow through these ESCs. And that means that we can probably even use our drone build to, to uh, fly with 4S batteries. Now we would have to verify this through the methods that we use to estimate this current draw for this drivetrain setup. And the flight controller we chose to use was the Navio 2 shield on top of a Raspberry Pi. That'll just make for very a convenient setup for us. And the estimated weight of our drone is 1,070 grams. Our target thrust to weight ratio going into this was 2. And our estimated thrust we have at around 2,500 grams. So that means our estimated thrust to weight ratio is around 2.5. Okay, so now we know that we're gonna get a drone that'll have performance that we require for our build. Now let's just go ahead and build the thing. And that's what we're gonna start doing in the next uh, bit of videos.